welcome back to another week of Crosswalk Online. I'm so excited for today's lesson because it teaches us an amazing truth about our amazing God. So just to recap, we've been looking at the book of Hebrews in chapter 11, where we find a bunch of people who were remembered for their faith. And so the first week, we looked at what faith means. And the second week, we explored the story of a man named Abel and how he brought his best to God and how we can bring our best to God too. And last week, I challenged us to bring our best to God in our time. This week, we're moving right along in the chapter, and we're going to talk about someone who God gave a pretty big task. God told him to build something big, something huge, something I couldn't even imagine building. Do you have any guesses of who it might be that we're going to talk about today? Right, it's Noah. God told Noah to build an ark. And so we're going to check out that story and see what it tells us about God and about the importance of obeying God and living by faith in that way. But first, let's pray. Dear God, thank you for this new day. Thank you for each boy and girl listening today. And I pray that you would teach us and help us to understand your word. Keep our eyes on you this morning, God. We pray this all in the name of Jesus. Amen. So I'm going to tell you today's story, but you can find out all about it in Genesis from chapters 6 to chapter 9. This is the story of a man named Noah. Back in Noah's time, people did bad things and they forgot all about God, except for Noah. And Noah loved God, and so God asked him to do a big thing that we'll hear about. God was sad that everyone but Noah forgot about him. And he told Noah about his plan to start over. God told Noah to make an ark, a big, big boat. God told Noah exactly how to build it. The specifications, the lengths, the measurements, everything. God told him exactly how to build it. So Noah and his family began working away on the ark. In chapter 6, verse 22, it says, Noah did everything just as God commanded him. When it was all done, God said, Take your family and two of every animal into the ark, because in seven days I will send rain for 40 days and 40 nights, and I will wipe from the face of the earth all living creatures that I have made, except for Noah and his family and the animals that would be in the ark. So Noah and his family board the ark, and God sent all these animals to them. Pairs of animals creeped and crawled and hopped and galloped right onto Noah's boat. Once they were all on, it says that God shut them in. God closed the door because he was about to send the flood. And the rain began to fall, and it fell for 40 days and 40 nights, just as God had said. The ark rocked back and forth, this way and that way, on the rising water. As the rain fell and began to cover up the entire earth, even covering up the tops of the mountains. After the rain had stopped, the ark came to rest on the top of the mountain. Noah sent out a raven, which flew back and forth until the water began to dry up. Then Noah sent out a dove to see if the water had dried up on the ground. And the dove came right back. So Noah knew that there was still water on the ground and it wasn't safe for him to come out. So seven days later, he sent out another dove, and the dove came back with an olive leaf in its mouth, which meant that the water was going down. And then he waited seven more days and sent out another dove, and the dove did not come back, which means that it was safe for Noah and his family to leave the ark. So God told Noah to come out of the ark and to let the animals free so that they could multiply and fill the earth. Noah and his family praised God, and God put a beautiful rainbow in the sky as a reminder of God's promise to never flood the whole earth again. Have you ever noticed when winter coats go on sale at stores? They don't go on sale in December or January when it's already cold outside. Sometimes you can see winter coats as soon as August when it's still hot outside. No one has a need for a winter coat in August, at least here. I mean, if you're going to the North Pole, you might need one, but not here. Here is shorts and sandals weather. 
So why would stores put heavy winter coats on sale in August, in the summertime? Because we know that winter's coming, don't we? You can't tell by the weather outside because it's so hot out, but from experience, we know that after summer comes fall and after fall comes winter. So in a few months, you might need that winter coat outside, especially in Canada. Noah didn't have a forecast or a past experience to tell him that a flood was coming or to tell him to build an ark. Some people say there had never been rain on the earth before the flood, but there definitely hadn't been a flood as huge as the one that God had said would come. But Noah had faith enough to believe that when God said, a flood is coming, he knew that a flood was going to come. So Noah built the ark just as God had told him to. God may never ask you to prepare for something that's never happened before, and he may not have you do something as grand as building an ark. But what God asks us to do, whether it's through his word or whether we can hear his voice, we should obey him. Because just as God knew what was best for Noah and he, wa he wanted to care for him and protect him, God knows what's best for us too. And that's one of the reasons why we should obey him. When we obey God, he comes alongside us and helps us or equips us to do the things he asks of us. I can imagine that when Noah was building the ark, people walking by might have given him funny looks because they didn't see any need for a giant boat. But no one knew that what God said would happen would happen. And Noah had faith enough to do even such a big task as building an ark. God can do great things through us just like he did with Noah. It's not always easy to do the right thing. Noah had faith because he had a relationship with God. He knew God through his voice and through his creation. Noah knew God well enough to trust him when he said that there would be a flood. God had always been there for Noah and he knew that God would not let him down, even in this situation. In fact, God was with Noah the whole time. When the ark was built and Noah and his family got in the ark, God sent all the animals to the ark. Noah didn't have to go rally all the animals with a whistle and a staff. God sent them to the ark. God helped Noah accomplish what he was asked to do. In the same way, when God asks us to love our enemies or honor our mother and father or to help others and be kind to one another, he doesn't just tell us what to do and abandon us and let us do it on our own. No, he walks with us each step of the way to help us obey even when it's hard. When we accept Jesus into our hearts, we receive the Holy Spirit that helps us obey God. The more we listen to God, the more we see him at work in our lives. And the more we see him at work, the greater our faith will be. And Noah was a man of faith. God gives us stories like Noah's to remind us the importance of living by faith so that we can follow in his example. God may never ask you to do what he asked of Noah, but my prayer for us today is that when God asks us to do something, we have faith to obey him. God didn't let Noah down, and he definitely won't let us down either. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we praise you for who you are, for your goodness, your faithfulness, your holiness, and we thank you for your unconditional love. You are the same God who warned Noah about the flood and you walked with him each step of the way. And we thank you that in our lives, as we seek to obey you, that you help us each step of the way. So God, this week, we pray that you will help us to obey you, even in the small things, because we know that you are good and that you care for us and that you know what is best for us. So we thank you, God, for this time and we pray that you would work powerfully in our lives and that we would walk in faith and walk in obedience to you this week. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys, that's it from me on Crosswalk Online today. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you have a great week and can't wait for our story next week because it's a good one. So tune in and I'll see you then. Bye.